Bonjour, I'm Ying and I'm currently a business technology management student at Ryerson University in Toronto. And during my first year of university, I was taking six courses per semester involved in three student groups, managers, curriculum committee, and the student council. And I participated in over 200 hours of school events and I was working 15 hours a week at a startup. So let me tell you when I know a thing or two about time management and staying organized. My personal favorite weapon combo is Google products plus Notion. So buckle up because I'm about to tell you a lot of secret tips. Google Chrome. I haven't seen anybody do this yet, but I have a specific Chrome profile for all of my academic needs where I customize the bookmarks, folders, and Chrome extensions. You can also have a personal, a school, and a work one. The goal is really just to have separate profiles for the different work environments that you are in. Having this separate profile also allows all of your Google links to be open automatically on the right account instead of on your personal account and then having to switch. I feel like this is a very niche problem to have, but those that have this problem, you know how annoying and time consuming it can get. Additionally, never log into any distracting sites like social media or games on this school profile just so that you are less tempted to procrastinate. Let me tell you the amount of times I've opened Facebook or Instagram just to close it because logging in was a reminder that I should not be on there, so I would just leave and also because I would be too lazy to input my information. Chrome extensions like Video Speed Controller, Sci-Hub, Weva, and MyBib have saved me a tremendous amount of time. Check out my Resources for Students video for other tips and tricks on how to save money and time as a student. Notion, my best friend. I've developed such an amazing system that supports me and increases my workflow using my academic path page that shows my class information, Zoom links, assignment deadlines, curriculum, useful links. I mean, everything I need is on here. And then there's my notes for all of my events, boot camps, coffee chats, and my work growth page for anything internships and applications related. This is just a quick overview, but if you're interested, I have separate videos linked in my description box going in more in depth about Notion, uh, as well as some of my templates, so check it out. I absolutely love Notion for everything except for its note-taking capabilities and its calendar limitations. Google Docs. I actually take my class notes on Google Docs uh, over Notion because it gives me so much more flexibility with the font sizes and colors. I also prefer seeing pages instead of an infinite scroll since I like to print my notes for studying purposes. Another reason why I prefer Google Docs is because I can format PowerPoints into notes so fast. I'm fast because I use the shortcuts to create different headlines to organize my notes. It also automatically creates an outline or even a table of content based on the headings and the text that you use, which I find pretty neat. A lot of times professors will post the slides to their lectures prior to classes, so what I like to do is I copy the PowerPoint onto a Google Docs and I organize it and style it so I kind of have an overview of the concepts. I don't need to understand fully what they mean because during the lecture they will all be explained and like that, uh, in class, I already have the structure of my notes. I would just need to add in information that's mentioned by the prof or remove some uh, depending on what's need be. I also love Google Docs because uh, keyword searching on there is amazing, which is perfect for online school. I do many of my assignments over Google Docs on here since it can be easily exported as a Word document, a format that's sometimes required by the professors. I would use Word over Docs, but I've had too many instances where Word crashes and I lose all of my work in the past, so now I don't take any chances. I usually opt for cloud services, and also Google Docs can offer an offline option if you want to study on the road, in the bus, whatever. Love Google Docs. Apart from using Docs for classes, I also use it to make a copy of all of my applications for scholarships, student group positions, or other questionnaires when I need to talk about myself. You are going to be filling out a lot of applications, whether it's for a club, a sorority, a scholarship, where the questions are often very similar. I have now built a bank of stuff to say about me, so whenever I have an application, I just go to that folder, recycle some of the information I've said in the past, and that way I don't have to start from scratch. Google Calendar. I would use Notion's calendar for everyday use, but right now it's 
just not as integrated as Google products, and especially Google Calendar that can be connected to my Apple Calendar, Zoom, and a lot more event integrations. I put everything on my Google Calendar and use this technique called time blocking. So whenever I have a to-do, I add it in my calendar because I know that if I don't give it a deadline, I'll most likely push it back. I also have two calendars, one for my personal tasks and one for everything I need to do for school. Google Calendar is also amazing for sharing your calendar with your friends so you can plan meetups or study nights more efficiently. It exists as an app, but I have personally integrated my Google Calendar into my Apple Calendar just because I like the design better there. So if you want to do that as well, I'll link a tutorial in my description box. Gmail. My school uses Google products in general, but these tips can be applied to any email software. Creating email tags based on words or email names was a game changer for me. It automatically tags my emails so I know where to find emails of that topic. I also use it to hide assignment submission spam. My second tip here is to add an email signature to save you from manually typing your name every time. This is what I use. I also have a Chrome extension called MailTrack for tracking emails and it also notifies me if the person hasn't replied in a couple of days so I have a reminder to follow up. Make sure you're unsubscribed from everything that you don't need because having these additional random emails is just gonna waste your time. Last one, not organization related, but don't forget to change your email retraction period to 30 seconds, you know, just in case you make a mistake and need to undo. Some of you may have heard of Slack and use it as a teamwork communication tool, but I use it as an organizational area for guilt-free storage. Hear me out. If my boyfriend and I want to share something important that we know we'll refer to in the future, like recommendations, books, or places to go, then we'll use Slack for that. We use iMessage to text, but it's just not organized. We could use Discord, but it doesn't really allow large files. Notion would also fix this issue, but I just find Slack much more convenient because it automatically generates a thumbnail and it has an easy search engine. To recap, separate Chrome profiles, Notion for information management, Google Docs for assignment notes and applications, Google Calendar for time blocking and sharing your schedule with friends, Gmail with tags and signature, and Slack for team storage. Let me know in the comments which of these tips you will implement. Having a good support system for your workflow is fundamental for staying on top of your tasks when you have a lot of things going on. Your digital or physical workspace should provide you with the necessary tools to maximize your workflow, so take advantage of them. Good luck with everything. You are going to have an amazing year. I'm manifesting good vibes for you. And never forget to take rests when you need it. Okay? Don't feel guilty for taking risks. Bye!